In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a medium cog in Minecraft. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys, if you want more ship tutorials like this one, I'll leave a link in the card above as well as in the description to a playlist that you can check out. Also guys, I've got a store if you want to download this one for a small fee, I'll leave that in the description if that's something you're interested in. Anyway, let's get into building. Alright then guys, so here we are on my flat tutorial world. So what we're going to go through in this kind of intro section -y bit is going to be stuff like dimensions and how many blocks underneath the water is going to be, the common questions. So this one is 26 blocks long, it is 19 blocks wide and, uh, what's that, 27 blocks tall I believe. Uh, maybe not 27, but maybe 27, it does look like 27. Yeah, 27 I'm going to go with that, what I've written down there. If it's wrong, I'll correct it somewhere. Um, so guys, yeah, if you're going to be building this one underneath the water, then your water level is going to be three blocks up. So place a block next to your water, and you go one, two, and three, and this is level number one. That's your layer number one, okay? Um, I don't know why I would say level rather than layer, but that just means that these aren't then uh, kind of in the way. You could, if you wanted to, put some small cannons in there. I've actually just got them as small little windows that can be closed and opened and things like that. Um, so in terms of the ship, it is yeah, a medieval cog this time and this one's quite a nice one for I would say a trade ship. So you know it's got a nice hold, there you go, look at this for a hold. Quite nice and big and chunky so I can imagine lots of cargo going around the Mediterranean in particular with this one. So yeah guys, if you want to build yourself a square feel free to go for or go for it. Um, again 26 blocks long. 19 blocks wide. In terms of your materials to get you started, you're going to need a spruce slab, stair, and a plank block, as well as a jungle fence. But that's it for this introduction section. And for layer number one, what we're going to do, guys, is if you're building it in this nice, perfect uh, rectangle, which you could do, and that, as you can see, it kind of brings you right to the edge of this block. It's just these nice alternating fence gates that are on there. What you're going to do is with your, um, your find the middle of your box first, and then you're going to have a spruce plank. So it's not on the line, it's one forwards from the line. We can now get rid of that one. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up with three blocks in total, and then whack a spruce stair on top. And then we're going to have three jungle fences behind that, like that. Okay, because that means we can get rid of this jungle fence, which is nice. I like getting rid of materials if I can. What we're going to do behind this is we're going to have two blocks, so one and two. And then on the side of the last block we're going to have a spruce slab, like that. We're going to have two spruce plank blocks behind that, one and two. Then what we're going to do is we are going to have a spruce slab on the side of that one. Then we're going to have eight blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight. And what we're going to do with our slabs is leave two of the full blocks and then we're going to go one, two, three, and four. That means should mean you have two blocks right here, either side of that slab uh, layer bit. Okay, just like that. Then what we're going to do from here is we're going to have a slab on the front of that one. Then behind this, we're going to have a plank block, another plank block coming forwards. So we end up with that like two blocks behind that, if you see what I mean, right there. It's just we're doing it in the in the kind of opposite now. And then you're going to have a slab just on the front. Then next to that slab, just have a plank block, and right on the front, we're going to have an upside down spruce stair, like that. Okay, so this is what you end up getting. We're going to do the other side now. So first things first is a slab on the back of this one. Two spruce plank blocks behind, one and two. Another spruce slab coming out. Then eight blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Remember guys, leave two and then have four slabs. Leave two here. And you get your two there like that. Then at the front, have a slab on the front of that one. Got two blocks here. And then a slab right here. Then all we need to do is just fill this all up with your spruce planks. Just like this. There we go, we're getting there. Like that there. But that will get us started. And that is it for layer number one. And now for layer number two, what we're going to do is place a block directly on top of the last layer. Right there. Then have an upside down spruce stair on the side of that one, and you can do the same on the other side. I don't know why, I always like doing it in one go when it's a stair on either side. It seems to keep me going correctly. <laughs> then you can have two planks blocks behind that, like that. We're gonna have another upside down spruce stair on the side of that block with two blocks behind, one and two. 
Then that last block that we placed down, we're going to have a spruce slab on the upper piece just sticking out of that one. Then we're going to have six blocks, one, two, three, four, five, and six. On the back of this, we're going to have a spruce slab. Then on the inside, we're going to have two spruce plank blocks like that. Then we're going to have a upside down spruce stair on the back of that one. Then on the inside, two spruce plank blocks like that. Then an upside down spruce stair. Then right in the middle, we're just going to have a spruce plank block like that to finish up that little bit. Now we'll do the same on the other side. So behind this stair here, two blocks coming back. Then we get an upside down spruce stair here. Two blocks behind that, one and two. Then we're going to get uh, a slab, aren't we? Yeah, <laughs> we're going to get another slab on the side of that one. Then six plank blocks behind this. One, two, three, four, five, and six. On the back of this, we're now going to have a spruce slab like that. And on the inside, we're going to have two blocks. Then an upside down spruce stair there. Then we're going to have two blocks here. And finally, an upside down spruce stair there like that. Now we're going to have to grab ourselves, I even forgot about it, a stripped oak wood piece, okay? Because we're going to put in the uh, areas for the mast. Now there's one mast, and what I ended up doing with the way into the hole is I ended up using the same material as a mast. Um, I don't know, it's up to you guys if you want to do that or not. I just think it looks a little bit cleaner, neater, I don't know what the right word is, but I prefer it. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to have one right here. So you're going to leave the two block gap here then have one there. And the other one, where we've got this big kind of section, leave two here and go to the next one. So it's kind of in the middle. It's not quite because it's um, it's even. But you've got three at the front, two at the back of that big kind of uh, boxy part of it, the main part of the hole there. But that'll be it, guys, for layer number two. And now for layer number three, what you're going to do is right on the front, we're going to come forwards with an upside down spruce stair. So you're going to need to, of course, build a block somewhere behind it just to get that coming forwards. We're then going to have two blocks just on the side of this one here. Then an upside down spruce stair like that with two spruce plank blocks behind, one and two. Then we're going to have an upside down spruce stair on the side of that one like that. Then we're going to have an eight spruce plank blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight like that. On the back, we're going to have an upside down spruce stair. And on the inside, two spruce plank blocks. Then we're going to have an upside down spruce stair again. Then at the back here, two spruce plank blocks. And we're going to bring that around as well. So you get like a little, uh, it kind of gets quite straight on these ones because they're quite basic ships, which is, I've kind of enjoyed trying to learn how to do them. Um, right, so for the other side, two blocks here, one, two. Upside down spruce stair right on the side of that one. Another two blocks behind, one, two, and an upside down spruce stair there. Eight blocks behind, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Upside down spruce stair on the end of that one. Then we're going to get two spruce plank box blocks behind there. And then finally an upside down spruce stair. And of course, build up your mast just by one, like that. But that's it guys for layer number three. And now for layer number four, so come right to the front here and place a spruce plank block directly on top of the last layer. Then have an upside down spruce stair next to that. Place a spruce plank block behind that one. Then with these blocks, here, this uh, stair here, have a plank block and have another one behind. So you've got this layer of two there. Then on the side of that one, we're going to have an upside down spruce stair. Then a spruce plank block block behind. Now you're going to need to grab yourself a dark oak fence gate. So this is just what I used for the little windows to try and make them look a little bit smaller. Um, you could also, if you wanted to, you know, put a slab in there. I just didn't like the look of that. I wanted something that looked a little bit, I don't know, more woody. <laughs> so that's what I ended up going with. So put a fence gate in there if you want to, or a slab, or a different colored slab. You know, you could do dark oak slab that might look okay. And then on the top of that one, just put a, um, I used a spruce trapdoor for it. If you want it to look fancier, you could of course use Fancy a dark oak trapdoor as well. That would also look pretty good, to be fair. You know, um, it depends on what you guys want. For me, I'm going with a, you know, it looks fancy at the top, but actually the rest of the stuff isn't as fancy. Anyway, we're now going to have two blocks of spruce planks here, and then a dark oak fence gate, and then a spruce trapdoor on top like that. Then two spruce plank blocks and a dark oak fence gate again, and then a spruce trapdoor on that one there like that. 
then what we're going to do is we're going to have two spruce plank blocks move inwards two spruce plank blocks inwards again one spruce plank block with an upside down spruce stair on it and then over this little bit here where we've got the jungle fence put in a spruce plank block so you can see this is starting to get more and more uh, straight I don't know I guess that's the right word vertical I guess <laughs> I don't know anyway on the other side now guys upside down spruce stair on the side of that one with one block behind it where we've got these ones here you're gonna have two blocks like that then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have an upside down spruce stair on the side of that one then a block then a dark oak fence gate with a trapdoor on it two spruce planks dark oak fence gate with a trapdoor on it there we go two spruce planks dark oak fence gate with a trapdoor on it then we're gonna have two spruce planks again move in two spruce planks on the back here one spruce plank with an upside down spruce stair on it and then what we're gonna do of course is build up the mast pieces just by one like that you can start to see the whole thing coming together but this is the spruce layer done so we're actually gonna be on to the, the uh, birch layer next time and now for layer number five what we're gonna do guys is grab yourself a birch slab stair and plank block okay and at the front we're gonna have three birch planks going across the front yeah it's a really flat kind of front on this one uh, I only noticed it just now um, but uh, yeah we can have those ones there then we're gonna have a block just on the back there on the side of that one we're gonna have an upside down birch stair then two birch plank blocks behind one and two then we're gonna have a birch stair going this way so it completes the kind of oval shape that we're getting all right so you kind of end up it kind of smooths it in a little bit like that now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a birch plank block then a stair going this way then a stair going that way then a stair going that way and then on top of this one that way that way that way that way <laughs> that way like that okay so you end up with uh, four sets of them doing this it just makes a more interesting shape down the bottom here allows some more color to come through on the ship that's all that's going on with that but I know it's a bit of a weird thing what we're then going to do on the back of that one right is we're going to have a birch plank block then an upside down birch stair then on the inside of this two birch plank blocks behind that there so they're just on top of that last layer now we're gonna have a birch stair but we're gonna have it going sideways like that because we're just supporting this back kind of like back castle whatever it's called uh thing like that then we're gonna have a birch slab off of that one then on the end we're gonna have a spruce trap door and on the side of that one, a birch slab, then a spruce trapdoor. And in fact, I want my spruce trapdoors to all be pointing the same way, so I'm going to have mine going like that. So I'm going to place a block first, so you're going to have that there. Now behind this, we're going to have just three blocks, all right? So we'll get three blocks like that. All right, let's do the same on the other side now. Let's get this going. So right behind this one, we're going to have a block like that of your birch, then an upside down birch stair. Then we're gonna have two blocks behind of your birch one and two then right on the side here a normal stair like that then a birch plank block and now we're going to do these four sets of these uh kind of like circular bits with the stairs where we just alternate the stairs oh yeah just need to get sneak to put it on top of that fence gate there much easier when you stop isn't it <laughs> but there we go get that there um and then right at the end here where you got that uh, spruce plank block you're going to place a birch plank on top then an upside down birch stair then on the inside you're gonna have two blocks of your birch planks there then on the back here we're gonna have a sideways uh, birch stair like that then a birch slab on the back then a spruce trap door now we've got this block here we're gonna have a birch slab like that just to give it a bit more support so just kind of when I was doing it this way I mean for one you have to put a block in there but it didn't look as supported or as smooth going in so I thought that looked a little bit better now you might think we're done with this layer but we are not not even close all right there's lots to do because we've got quite a big part of the deck to go in all right so first thing I'm gonna do is put in the stripped oak wood just boost those both up like that on the frontmost one we're actually gonna put a ladder in all the way up to there I usually leave the bottom one so if you want to you can walk around uh, I know there's not really much to walk around here but you can always jump to get up onto that okay so that's why I do that um, then what we're gonna do with our oak slabs now is just on the sides of these ones build your oak slabs out 
and also at the front as well, have that all. Now this one's really flat, there isn't really much curve to the entire ship, and that's because I wanted to be able to get underneath here, and because they're one and a half already, um, it just made sense, and it's the same on the back as well. You know, I want to be able to get into there if you want to put some barrels and, and stuff in there in general, you know, it, it kind of gets in your way otherwise. Um, anyway, what we're also going to do is we're going to have, with our slabs, just have them going around the side now, okay? Because we're going to put in a little place where we can get to the kind of like cargo uh, area, and we're going to do the same on this side as well. Let's have a strip going all the way, whoops, all the way back to there. Now what you're going to do with your oak trapdoors is right on the side here, we're going to go one, two, three, and four. And what I usually do is I have them on the side so you can open them. That's why I put in those slabs first. Two, three, four, like that, okay? And on the back, just add in an extra two. So just on the back part, so that's the back of the ship, just had an extra two there, but uh, uh, three going forwards from that, that block, there's one either side of that, two on the back there like that, okay? So this is all part of the cargo hold. Now I'll finish up the slab, so what we're going to do is right here we're going to have a slab, right here we're going to have a slab, but nowhere else for that bit. Across the back, we're just going to join across the back here, the back's really easy. Uh, we're just going to fill the whole thing up. It's as simple as that, there we go. So we end up with filling the whole thing up like that for the back section. Now the other thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a spruce slab. And at the back where we've got the first set of these kind of like little stairs, we're going to have one two and three of your spruce slabs on the upper piece. This is going to be to house the uh, shrouds that are going up. So right at the back here, one, two, and three, like that, okay? So it's just on that stair like that. Still not done, but uh, get to the front. We're going to use an oak slab this time, and this is going to be part of the beak kind of uh, design. It's quite basic on this one, if I'm honest, but uh, yeah, we're going to have a slab right here with your oak slab, one going up, on the inside, one right there, in the middle, one right there in the middle, okay? Like that. So same on the other side, down there, up there, up there, and you've already got the one right in the middle like that. But that is it for layer number five. And now for layer number six, what you're going to need to grab is a dark oak slab and a dark oak stair. Uh, we'll need a load of other stuff as well as we get going with this one. Um, also, yeah, grab yourself a composter. We might as well do the middle bit first, because it's kind of... I don't know, why not? Uh, so where you've got your mast, place a composter on top of it. Then with our... Um, actually, let's do this first. Where we've got the, uh, the kind of ladder bit, we're going to have a dark oak stair going onto the back of that, so that you can uh, then attach your spruce trapdoor to it, and actually bring the spruce tra trapdoors over the top of that as well. And it's the same on the back. It just gives it a little bit of something else. You could also use oak instead if you wanted to. Um, so it depends on the ships. Usually I you know, sometimes I do this kind of like board in between and then this is rope. Uh, I know it's not rope, but you know what I mean. It's uh, the closest we got to a rope kind of mesh thing. Uh, so yeah, I'll go with that. Now on the back now, leave a block and we're going to have another dark oak stair like this, okay? And that's going to actually be the way up to the back castle part of it. Either side of that, we're going to have a normal stair as well, just going the opposite way, okay? So you end up with just that bit for that bit, and then these two on the side here. Now if we go right to the front now, uh, with a birch stair, we're going to have an upside down birch stair, just coming forwards from the front, and that will be on top of that oak slab that we placed last time. Then on the side here, we're going to have a dark oak stair facing inwards. Right here, we're going to have a dark oak slab. Then we're going to have a dark oak stair. Then we're going to have two dark oak slabs behind that. And then coming forwards by one, we're going to have a dark oak stair. I know it's a little bit weird, but that's what we're going to have. So on the other side, dark oak stair. Go to the side, have a dark oak slab, dark oak stair, two dark oak slabs. And then come forwards with a dark oak stair like that. So there we go, that's what we end up getting for that little front part of it. Now with an oak slab, we're going to continue on with some details here. So we're going to have a lower oak slab here on this stair. Then we're going to have an upper oak slab right next to it, or coming forwards from it, okay, to here. So you'll have to build up to that bit. Right here, we're going to have an upper oak slab as well. And then where we've got the uh, upside down uh, birch stair, we're going to have a lower slab on the side of that. And then an upper slab on the front of that. So do the same on the other side. We're going to have a lower slab here. Right next to it, we're going to have an upper one, so I'm going to just build to that one, like that. On this stair here, upper slab, 
Now on the side of this birch stair, we're gonna have a lower oak slab like that. Now what we're gonna do is where we've got these loops, we're gonna have upside down, we're basically gonna be mirroring the whole thing. We're gonna have upside down uh, little loops like that, okay? And we're gonna have four of those in total. So do these, that's number two. Number, number three, there we go. Number four, like that, okay. Now what we're gonna do right here, actually we'll do the same on the other side first. Let's get that done, right? So one, I'm just gonna do a load of them going across to here, because I know we're gonna have to do those and then just delete the ones that I need to flip out the other way. And hopefully make no mistakes. Yay, I did it. Um, right, so back onto this side now after you've done those four. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have a dark oak stair facing inwards like that. Then we're gonna have a slab. Now we're gonna have a floating dark oak stair, but it's gonna go, be going this way. And it's because the back of this is even. So in order to make it look right, I ended up having uh, these stairs going this way. I know, so clever, aren't I? Um, I was impressed with myself anyway. So yeah, you have a floating stair there. On the inside, have a stair going the other way. Then have a slab. Then on the end, we're going to have an upside down dark oak stair because it's on the end like that. Then we're going to have a slab and another upside down dark oak stair there. So on this side, a stair going inwards, a slab, a stair going that way, okay? So facing towards the front. On the inner part of it, go in by one block and then have another stair going the other way. Then have a dark oak slab. And then finally, over your spruce trapdoor, you're going to have an upside down dark oak uh, stair there with a dark oak slab in between. I know it's a bit, it is a bit complicated. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Now what I ended up doing is with my one, because I was looking at a lot of the uh, cogs and they were really colorful. Um, so I decided to do mixing and matching of colors. So I had the wart uh, slabs with mine and then crimson and I ended up having these alternating colors around here. Now you don't have to do it with these colors at all, but uh, if you guys would like to do that, then you can do. Uh, so, you know, grab yourself some uh, fence gates. You could do it in one color as well. You know, mix and match it up, you know, change change the whole thing up. Um, but what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna start with crimson just in this gap and then punch that through. Then we're gonna go to warped and we just keep on alternating. So I find it's easier to place every other one. Uh, now I should say this three, I just got cut out, caught out by that. These three here where we've got the uh, spruce slabs, that's not where you're gonna have any, okay? So I'm just gonna place one to get it in the right place. We're gonna have that there, and then this is gonna go all the way around. So at the back, this one goes to there, this one goes to there, okay? So you end up with these, punching around all of these bits here, and then the other ones. <laughs> this is where you get caught out quite a bit, I, I find anyway. You end up keep on placing them in the wrong place, but that's fine. There we go, get these here, and then there. I don't know what's easier. I actually think maybe this is easier. And then that one will be there, so that one's gonna be there. There we go. Okay. Like that. There we go, that's all good. Cool, so that gives you a little bit of color. I quite like the style of it. I haven't really seen that on, on ships before, but it's a nice use of these two at least. Uh, so I think that looks pretty good. Um, right, so that's actually it. Um, we've done quite well, but that is it for layer number six. So let's get on to the next one. And now for layer number seven, what we're gonna do is right at the front where we've got that upside down birch stair that you can just about see there, we're gonna place a block. In my case, I'm just gonna use a spruce slab, but you're gonna place a spruce, pl spruce plank block. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get there eventually. Then you have an upside down spruce stair on the front. This is gonna be part of the bow sprit, all right? So that's the little bit that sticks out on the front. Then what we're gonna do is where we've got these stairs, we're basically gonna be mirroring them. So dark oak stair is gonna be upside down on the front of that. And we're gonna do the same with the slab. So we're gonna mirror the slab. So wherever we have a slab down there, we're gonna have a slab on the top. And we're gonna have an upside down stair, again, mirroring. Now here, we're gonna do the same thing where we go across to here and then have your upside down stair. So again, mirror everything. The only difference really is gonna be when we join this up and you'll see that in a second. So we're gonna have the upside downs there, slab there, upside down there, two slabs there, upside down there. And it's just on the inside here. So what we're gonna do first is of course, have an upside down stair on the edge of that one, but then put a slab over the top of each of these ones. It doesn't mean that you need to, um, what's it called, crouch, <laughs> crouch to get down. Uh, now what you can also do is you can place a ladder on that one so that you can get to this layer. And what you're actually gonna do is you're also gonna fill this all up with your oak slabs as well. So fill that all up, that all looks good. So there we go, that's what you want. And all looking good. 
Uh, what we're also going to do here is we're going to put, put spruce signs on the sides of this just as another detail. So uh, you can do stuff where you know you make it all nice and detailed and everything, but I don't bother. Um, now another thing actually we should do, uh, because otherwise you'll put a sign on that bit, is right on the side of this one we're going to have a lower slab on the side of that uh, spruce block, right? So that's what we're going to do there. But what I tend to do is wherever there's a choice between the side or uh, the front, always go for the side because most of the time you're not looking directly at the front of the ship so this will make it look better. Um, also continue these on across the back as well so keep on going around here like, like this. Get there eventually, there we go and we're going to do a very similar thing on the back. Actually it's going to be the same. Um, so we're going to have be mirroring what's going to be going underneath except for right at the back. Okay. So we've got this one here, we mirror the other direction like that. This one here, have that mirrored, okay? Now the only bit at the back is we just have upside downs, okay? So we have slab and upside down. So you don't mirror what's going on there, but these are just to make it look a little bit more supported really with this different part of the back and it makes it a little bit more detailed as well, I find. So there we go, right there, upside down. You know, upside down there, there we go, slab, upside down there. And then just like the front where we put these slabs on, we're gonna have the slabs going across here as well. Then upside down there, upside down there, and the one in the middle, we go upside down the other way. I don't know really why I did it that way, but I did. Uh, put your two ladders on that one there, and then again with your oak slabs, fill this all up, all right? So you get a nice floor on your forecastle and your back castle. I don't know if that's the right word, but we'll go with it. Then with your spruce signs now, what we're going to do is we're going to put spruce signs around the sides of it. Go with the sides first because on the inner part of it is slightly different. Um, and it's just because otherwise you'll have to delete them, all right? So it's only when we get onto the shrouds that that'll happen. But uh, yeah, work your way around this. I know it takes a little while to place down a lot of signs, but uh, yeah, we'll get there. There. Right, so what we're going to do... Uh, do we need to do that, actually? One, two, three... No, we don't. Okay, never mind. Ignore me. No, you can just put signs straight on the sides. I was just looking at it going like, actually, I think we're okay. But uh, yeah, put signs on these as well. Uh, now, if you wanted to make this more of a, an entrance, you could, of course, knock those ones out. I kind of like it, though, when it looks like it's really cramped, though. Uh, it's like an area you don't think you can go into and you can actually go into, you know, it's that kind of a thing. But um, there we go, guys. That is it for uh, whatever layer this is, which I think is number seven. I can say it's seven. Yeah, it's number seven. So uh, we'll get on to number eight and nine next. And now for layer number eight and nine, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to need a note block, a warped slab and a warped stair if you want to do it in the same colours as me, and also a crimson sign to do that alternating kind of purpley colour and this bluey colour, cyan colour, really. So go with those. Um, but yeah, your note blocks, wherever we've got one of those stairs is going to be where we're going to place the note block. So we're going to plonk that there, there, and the only other thing is right on this inside, we ignore that. So that's just to make it every other one like that, okay? Now we place a warped slab on top of each of these. You will need to do your sneak and fly at the same time if you're doing it like I am. And then on the front, we're going to have a slab here like that, going over the front. And then in between each of these, we're going to have slabs, okay? Apart from the middle, because that's how we get up onto the ship part of it, this, uh, this part here. So you don't want to block that up. But I have this one open, um, and the back one you'll see is closed, okay? Now you could switch it if you wanted to. Oh, I forgot about that as well. Yeah, crimson press plate would definitely help. Um, so what we're going to do on this as well, yeah, is put your crimson press plates on. For some reason they pinged off when I copy and pasted the whole ship. That's really weird because that one worked, but the other ones didn't. Um, so yeah, whack those ones on to that one there like that. So it's every other thing. And it's again just to do some alternating colours. And then what we're going to do is on the note block, put your crimson signs. All right. So just put them onto the side there, and you should be able to do it around pretty much every face of these ones, all right? Like this, and it's just to add, like I say, guys, different colouring, you know? To give a bit of alternating, like, lots of paint, kind of, on this thing. Now, on the inside, up to you guys, all right? You can, if you want to, like, put them on, like, there, put them on there, and put them on there. Uh, you can't, obviously, put it on the middle, because you can't do it on either side, so I'll just leave that. But you can do it there, like that okay so that's what you could get now also on the front grab yourself a spruce slab and we're going to place a slab here then we're going to go up and we're going to do four of these okay 
Uh, five, sorry. I'm going to do five of these. So one, two, three, four, and five, like that. Okay? And that should bring you to the edge of the box if you're using the box. So one, two, three, four, five. Like that. Okay? Cool. Um, for the back, very similar kind of story, really. We're going to have a note block. Uh, but the only difference is where we've got these two where we did the, to make this kind of like block gap here, block gap there. We're going to have two right next to each other because it is an even overall. Then at the back, leave one, place one. So you're just going to do that. So it's only going to be that chunky a bit there. But it's going to be the same on this bit here. So you're going to end up with this, all right? Then the difference is, yep, yeah, we're going to put the, well, we're going to put the warped slabs on top first. Let's get that done. Let's place those on there. And then in between these, we're going to place a warped upside down stair. So this is because it's a little bit more armoured. They could, if you wanted to, have an open feel and have that uh, that slab there. Now it's up to you guys if you want on the inner part, if you want to have slabs or if you want to have stairs. You know, there's different things. For me, I did the whole thing kind of being a bit hashtag armoured. <laughs> I don't know why I'm using hashtag. But you know what I mean? <laughs> armoured. <laughs> um, and then again, guys, put your warped stair around them. What is wrong with me? God, it's been a long day already, guys, honestly. So, for me, I just want to get this thing done. <laughs> but there we go. Get them around the whole thing. Like this. Oops. Yeah, you don't want to put DW on it, do you? Uh, just whack the thing. You can tell what keys I'm pressing, at least. But yeah, we will get there eventually. There we go. And it's the same again on the inside. If you want to do the inside ones, do some of them. You know, you won't be able to do all of the sides. But if you did want to do this... You can do. There we go. And then finally, your crimson pressure plates to go on top just to add another bit of colour on there to have that alternating colour on the top part of it like that. So you've kind of got this like cross kind of pattern. I don't know. It's up to you guys if you like that. Now there is one change to actually do, which is the bit right at the back. Knock that one out and put in a crimson, uh, sorry, a warped stair going inwards because we're going to actually have that connecting to the mast. Uh, I just remembered that suddenly. But guys, that is it for the hull of the ship. So the next part is the mast, sail, and the shrouds. And now for the mast. What we're going to do, guys, is right in the middle, we're going to go up with a total of eight stripped oak wood. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that's just directly on top of your compost that you had there. Then we're going to place two composters on top and go forwards with two composters like that. Then we're going to place another eight stripped oak wood on top of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Like that. And then put two oak fence on the top. Where we've got the composter showing, put a spruce, a spruce trapdoor on top of that one. Um, and we're also going to need to grab a barrel because I forgot a barrel. There we go. Grab the barrel. So from the top, go four blocks down. One, two, three, and four. And then you're going to have a barrel going across like that. Add two stripped oak wood either side of that one. And then depending on where your wind direction is, you can see that this one, the wind is blowing just slightly this way, okay? But that's what we're going to go for. So we're going to have on the right-hand side of this, five going across. And on the left-hand side, we're going to have it coming forwards a little bit, okay? So you just have an angled mass like that. Now of your oak fence, just on the front here, what we're going to do is we're going to have it on the fourth slab. Which is the one you can place it on. And we're going to go back, then up, then back, then up. And you're going to continue this until you hit into the mast. Just continue to do this until you get to, well, it'll be up here. Then knock out the bottom fence, okay? Like that there, and you'll get a nice line. Same on the back where we've got that warped stair. We're just going to go there, then back, up, back, up, back, up, back, up, and continue doing this until you get to the top and then knock out the bottom one. There we go. So you then end up with that. Now grab yourself an oak stair and right where we've got the mast meeting this, we're going to have an upside down stair. Have one wrap around there. Then in the middle and coming out by one, you're going to have a slab, just an oak slab. So stair there. Wrap around stair there like that. Then if you want to, you can put a ladder going up the back of this mast so you can get up to the top. And what you're going to have to do is to properly use it, you're of course going to have to knock out a couple of these fences like these ones here. So it's up to you if you want it to uh, look all connected together or if you just want it to kind of look 
okay, you know what I mean? So you can have it like there if you wanted to. If you wanted to have that line clearer, but then you can't use it. So uh, I tend to do a little bit of a mix of both where I have it like floating like that, and if I did want to use it, I'll just knock that one out. Uh, and it'd be as simple as that. But guys, that is it for the mast, so let's do the sails. And now for the sails, so if you want the tied up version, so I'm using white wool for this, uh, just have it where you come forwards and down and just follow the mast like this and then bring that all the way back as well. And then underneath, try and bunch it up a little bit, but have it kind of pushed back a little bit underneath. All right, so something like something like that would do. Um, and then if you want to do it where you variate it, just do every other one would be, well, in this case, cyan wool. So you could just do it like that. You know, and you just keep on alternating the whole thing. Um, for us, we are going to be doing the sail version, of course. So, I mean, that's the easy version. Um, so what we're going to do is a similar thing. We've got it coming forwards by one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to be shaping this. So we'll go one, then a two, then a three, then a four, then in with a two, and a one, then a one. Okay, so that's going to be our shape. One, two, three, four, two, one, one. And we just follow the mass with this with a nice really big blockiness. We end up getting with this thing, but it will all work out really nicely. In no time at all. There we go, finally get there. Okay, and don't worry about these bits down here. It'll just be whatever it's gonna be. Um, so follow this, the, the line and build this in. Get these twos here, like this. We got the three next. I just did. Oops. Move it in. Then another one. This one's a four. Move it in. There we go. Okay, now I'm moving back in. It is a big sail, I should say that. Now with this one, we can't, of course can't do a two in the middle because it will just whack into these slabs, so ignore. <laughs> like you just, it's as simple as that, you just ignore it um, and just do what you can do. And then on the sides, of course, we've got the one and a one. So we can do all on that. Right, so let's have a look at this thing then. So we've got this big, boxy, not very interesting looking sail. So what we're going to do first is we'll knock five out the middle, right at the top, and underneath we're going to shape it as well because we've got these big boxy bits. So we're going to like knock out a couple here, and we're going to actually have like this going down to like a one there. All right, so we end up with something that looks like this. So I'm going to knock that down to there, knock that down to there. So you end up with that on either side. So that's already kind of going. Oh, okay, that looks a little bit better, you know, shape wise. Then what we're going to do is on the corners we're going to pinch these in. We're going to knock them back, and we're going to do the same up here. We're even going to bring one out to the side here, but just knock it back every so often, just on the corners. It doesn't have to be every single bit of it, just where you've got the corners here. And the same down here as well. We're going to go out, and if you want to, you can go out even more. Um, I don't think I did it on that one, though. No, I didn't. But you could do something like that. I can see why, because it goes to a point anyway. <laughs> That's why I didn't do it on that one. I just did it on the top. Right, do the same on the other side as well. Whoops. Go up to here, back to there, up and out. Push each of these back, like this, to there, and then have that one there. Now, what does that look like? A lot better. Okay, you can start to see it kind of smoothing out now, so we just need to do a little bit more smoothing. So whenever we've got these horrible edges, just knock out a couple blocks like this. Maybe do something like that, and you'll see that it suddenly becomes a lot smoother. We do the same here as well. We can push in, and we can push in, we can push out, you know? So don't be afraid to change up whatever you want to do. There we go. Okay, so we start doing this, and you can start to see that we're starting to take the those harsh edges off now, okay? We get these nice, smoother looking kind of circular kind of bits of this. That actually looks pretty good. Um, so what else have we got to do over here then? Well, we could push this one back, couldn't we? Like that, that doesn't look too bad at all. That looks quite good actually. Now you could do it where it even gets more smooth going to there. I'm quite happy with that because as soon as we colour it, it actually looks way better. 
So uh, for me, I ended up having mine with this cyan wool. Uh, but it depends on what colours you wanted. You could use any accent colour, really. I don't know what we've got in terms of that purpley colour. Um, whatever's closest to crimp white. I mean, you could technically put crimson in it, couldn't you? Like, you could technically do the stripped crimson hyperfay thing. <laughs> which I can never say. So what you're going to do is you're going to do every other one of those is going to be that colour. Now for me, I'm going to use World Edit, which is a uh, mod, but it's also a plug in on the server and there's a tool there's a replace tool uh, and you can just use it to like replace with stone but you can also click and I can just right, right click and I can just paint this whole thing in uh, but there we go you can do something like that and you just go every other one but if you need to do it by hand you do it by hand it's not a problem uh, it's just that this means that I make no mistakes and I can do it very quickly because you guys get the idea uh, and then I can still I can show you the end product rather than spending a million years on doing it by hand. So, I mean, that's the best thing about video. You guys can pause it to catch up. Right, we're nearly there. There we go, last line, all right? Last line. There, there we go. Don't bother about the ends, just leave it like that. But there we go, that's the kind of purpley colored one. I quite like that, actually. That works quite nicely, with, um, even though it's wood <laughs> in the sails. In terms of the color, the color does pop quite nicely compared to this. So these are two nice variations. So I like that. But there we go. Uh, the only other thing we need to do is just with your oak fence is just pin this at the back. So you just put in an oak fence right at the back of each of those to kind of connect it to the mast or make it look like it's connected to the mast. That's the kind of idea with that. You can also tie the edges and, and have them tied in, but I've, I've not been doing that lately, especially not for these, you know, medium ships, although it's quite big. But uh, yeah. Right. So last bit is to get onto the shrouds. And now for the shroud, so grab yourself some birch fence. And what we're going to do is where we've, well, we're going to start on the left-hand side first. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to just build on top of this. We're going to have three fences of your birch fence, build out to three high. And this is where I got confused earlier. This is the, the sign that we need to get rid of, so get rid of that. Connect three on the back, and then go forwards with one just on that part of it. Then these frontmost three, we're going to make three high. Let's build that up. Whoops, not that one there these ones here like that connect three on the back of that one two and three like that make these ones three high two and three there we go now only connect the frontmost two on the back but make these three high <laughs> okay so you can see the pattern that's going on then we're going to move forwards with this one and then these two here three high which will bring you right to the uh, side of the composter and then what we're going to do is going to have singles just going to the top part of it there. That's it. On the other side, three there, three high. Knock that sign out. Connect three on the back and come forwards with one. Then these frontmost three, we're going to have three high, two and three. Connect on the back, one, two, three. Make this three high, two, three. There we go. Connect the frontmost two on the back, just the frontmost two, and then make that three high. It's always good when it lines up on the other side. <laughs> then you're going to come forwards with the one here, make these two three high, which is just all over those composters, and then you're going to have singles up to the top, like that. But there we go, guys. That is it for this tutorial. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.